Easy breezy, beautiful <laughs> cover girl. You did that. It's cute. Like, okay, that's not bad. The only downfall I will say to this foundation, um, <laughs> this video may not be up on a Saturday. It may not even be up on a Sunday, but thank God I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> What movie is that from? Y'all tell me. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. A, hey, that's all we do. A, 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 a. I'm coming to you with another video. A, hey, coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky, a, a. I'm always happy to be back. So, this video, you guys. This is one of my favorite videos ever. You guys know that I love to do product reviews. Can I get like a amen? Can I get a fist bump? Can I get a hand clap? Can I get a thumbs up? Can I get a something? Because I love product reviews and like first impression videos. Those are like my favorite of all times. And let me tell you guys why. But before we get into that real quick, make sure that you join the fan bam, okay? Make sure that you click that notification bell and when you do, just say all because there's a there's an area where it says personalize or customize or something. But I found that the other day. I was like, of course, if I click the bell, I want it all, okay? So click it to get all the notifications so you don't miss a beat. So we're just going to prime as we talk about this because it, as you saw from the title, this is the new cover girl. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. <laughs> it's we, we still working on it. Just pray for you girl. Pray for you girl. But it is called the cover girl clean fresh and it says in the land between bare skin and makeup exists our newest must have collection, CoverGirl Clean Fresh. What is it? It's a vegan collection of everyday makeup staples for fresh, healthy, natural skin. I know that it says natural and I know that it says healthy, but I am praying that it's some great coverage because I do have a live show tonight. So it's formulated without a whole bunch of stuff, but uh oh, hydrating formula provides sheer coverage for an effortless, healthy looking glow. Okay, it just said sheer. Okay. Feel amazing, be amazing, look amazing, and better yet, express your easy breezy beautiful self. That's cute. And then it just tells us what to hashtag. So yes, um, this package was sent to me from CoverGirl or by CoverGirl, and I did showcase it on my Instagram, which is at Seeky underscore beauty. You may want to follow me there. I also have a Facebook. That's where I kind of post like daily, um, daily post of whether it's a lipstick or makeup or whatever. And I, well, actually, let me just, mm -mm, I ain't got a lot of kick it. Like not every day, but maybe every other day. But anyway, I digress. Let me show you what I got and then we're gonna get to talking. It actually came in a box like so. This is what it looks like right here, right? Hey, that may be a thumbnail, baby. So that is the box it came in, although it came in kind of like a drawer, right? So I was able to like slide it on in there and I was able to slide them babies out. So I have the whole foundation collection right here. If anything, ooh, infused with coconut milk and aloe extract. Healthy, healthy. And it says, yes, this packaging is 100% recyclable and so it also came with cream blush and um i may try one you know i'm not really a fan of like cream blush and cream highlight but i may give it a go this is the cream blush that came in there that's what she looks like oh i'm a little red right there and then also there's a um a cream highlight that's called so guilty g-i-l-t-y and G-I-L-T-Y, <laughs> anyway, and so, yeah, you can't even see that. So let's just do it like this. So it has just a little, it's like small packaging, plastic, and then um, it is, there's the foundation, but let me tell you something. Oh, I forgot. And then the tinted lip oil. I've been seeing a lot of that lately and um, I don't see anything that's like really nude though. Oh wait, this one is just straight up lip oil and it doesn't have any color. Then there's a pink one, a hot pink one, that one. Yeah, not really like my skin tone and I'm definitely going for a neutral look today. Deep dark and then you got like baby look. Then you got dark. Then you have rich deep, which I'm thinking is my shade. And then we have deep. Let's get this primer on. Let's get this primer on. It's making me look real dewy and I ain't put on no foundation yet. Dewy, 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 dewy. Hey, we're definitely doing corrector, especially it says sheer. 
mm -mm. this right here and I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation and we're gonna get that all together. It's, and side note, I have absolutely been loving this Urban Decay powder, but I am gonna use my CoverGirl powder because I love that too, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that is pretty dope. And I already did my eyes, I already popped on some lashes. The lashes that I have on are Ardell lashes and they are, um, the number 213 with 774s on top. I just did a little double up action girl, see? Be doing my thing thing over here. So see, I could totally get down with that right there and just put some powder on. That's what I've been doing a lot lately. And if you guys are interested in my skincare regimen, I have a whole um, skincare book on Amazon and I have a whole skincare playlist here on YouTube for those of you guys that like, you know, visuals more than reading. Okay, so I have not tried this without you guys. This is my first time testing it out and why do I always make the mistake of putting my primer on before I test out the color of a foundation? I don't know, girl. And so I'm thinking straight off, I may have to mix them because that's the rich deep and this is the deep. And so I actually like the rich deep. I'm sorry. I actually like the yellow in the rich deep, but I feel like the deep has some really like neutral undertones. So what I may have to do is, um, oh wow. And so the deep dark looks really red. It has like some, it definitely has some red in it, but let's see how that looks because it may not be that bad i may be able to work with it this is why i like to do first impressions like with you guys now that is a little bit too red and too pasty like it almost looks like i can use that as a corrector i think my best bet would be to go for the rich deep but because i want you guys to see the trueness of the foundation i am going to go ahead and put the rich deep on my face but i'm also going i'll probably do like some adjusting because we can't go out like that like y'all and y'all i know y'all wouldn't want me to go out like that right see that dark right there so like i just really want some of these companies real talk to bring me into their office when they're you know mixing colors and stuff like that because i have the funniest skin tone ever and if they can like get my skin tone right then they could probably get everybody's right so i just think you know i am i'm opening up that invitation you know like i, I i'm available if you need me for a small fee <laughs> but let's see how this works um i'm telling you right now i'm gonna have to it, it looks like it's going to work but i'm probably gonna have to bring life this is super sheer this is like baby baby that is sheer but you see how it's making me look too um mm -mm, like i don't really have much color i just need a little more color i am trying my best y'all i'm gonna put a little deep dark in there i am trying my best let's see that's orange I love y'all. That's why we do this. That helped. That did help. I think we can go on. But that is seriously sheer. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put concealer on because I definitely don't need sheer under my eyes. But I don't mind the sheerness. Let me tuck this in. I don't mind the sheerness that it's giving me on my face though. Because I told you guys, I've been kind of rocking that natural look. I think, you know, as I get older and stuff i don't mind the glow so much but i am about to put this co corrector i mean not corrector this concealer what number 11 i'm about to put this i should have used um i totally should have used number 12. so this is the juvia's place i love their concealer because it doesn't crease as quick on me it stays in place so i love that this one is the dark 460 and i'm just gonna use my finger and just kind of place it where i want it right like right there oh this would be nice i think this would be nice i don't need a lot because i don't do heavy contour and when you contour make sure that you kind of get where that natural contour starts right there around the bridge of your nose very very natural now my thing is 
I like when companies come out with sheer products and, you know, lightweight products and glowy and dewy products more so in the winter time. Now I used to like it when they did it in the summertime because I'm like in the summertime, you really want to wear like light stuff. But at the same time in the summertime, I don't need help with like that do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe sheer cause you don't want to put a lot on, but I don't need help with no dewy. Mm -mm. Cause you know, I told you guys that I have been loving. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. <laughs> I have been loving this CoverGirl full spectrum powder. Like, like it's not a game. It's not a game. So we're just going to take this and we're going to put it all over and then I'm going to contour. Oh shoot. I should have used that cream blush, but it's okay. Next time. Not bad. And you know, I kind of had to do a little powder. Now, if you just want to stay with that little hydrating look, you don't have to set it, but I always like to set a cream. But to be honest, if I was, you know, doing like a photo shoot and I was going for that dewy, really healthy, you know, shiny skin look, I would have not put any powder on it. I would have left it as is and just been like, say cheese. For you guys, I really think that these are discontinued. This Becca um, Shimming Perfector or something like that uh, blush. Cause every time I go look for it to add the link for you guys, I can never find it. And I'm actually going to pop on this highlighter, this, um, from the Ofra. Whoa, let's do it like that from the Ofra glow kit. As you can see, I love that one, right? It's a love thing. It's Beverly Hills. And I'm going to use this brush that I have been using to put like a concentrated amount of highlight. I know it may be a bit much. I'm not mad at the foundation. Let's just say that I just don't like the mixing situation, but I'm actually going to spray this glow mist a little bit and then I'm going to do my um, Urban Decay All Nighter. But when you do foundation, make sure them edges and baby hair is all the way right. Okay. Boom. Sh shake it. Boom. Boom. Sh shake it. So I, all I did was I put on some MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. This foundation is not bad. Y'all, this really looks healthy. I did wipe a little bit of it off around my jawline so that I don't get a whole bunch of makeup on my earrings. But um, I'm going to put on this ColourPop Lesson Learned. It is like a nude for me. Easy breezy, beautiful <laughs> cover girl. You did that. It's cute. Like, okay, that's not bad. The only downfall I will say to this foundation is the fact that I had to mix two colors. So the colors that I ended up mixing was deep and deep dark. And I would prefer not to do that, right? Cause this is a little more neutral for me. And then the deep dark had a little more red in it. And then I used the dark to contour with. So, you know, I mean, I, I am mad at the way it looks, but I can honestly say that like the whole mixologist situation, I probably wouldn't do that. Like if I decided to do the mixing more, this is what I did. I did a whole video on if you have to mix foundation, like let's say you found the best foundation ever and you totally want to rock the two mixed together because you just love it and it looks flawless. Like this is dope and it looks natural and it's just great, but you can always get a, um, a, a container, a foundation container like this or a, what is it called? I think it's called a, um, airless pump bottle or something like that. I'll put the link cause I did a whole video about this before, like about three years ago, I did a whole video and I bought like a few of these. Of course, those other foundations I had, they expired already, but you basically can put the foundation in here, however you need to mix it. And then it's an airless pump. So the lid comes off and then you just pump it and you get the desired amount of foundation and it's already mixed for you. The only downfall to mixing a foundation like that is when the seasons change or you know, summertime comes around, you know, and you start using that, you know, these foundations that are already like pre-mixed in this bottle, then, you know, it's not going to match you. Right. Whereas if you just continuously mix them as needed, you'll always get your right shade. But, you know, I mean, listen, it's just, I'm just giving you tools. I'm just giving you tips. So if you decide to do that, it's on you, girl. Just want to be here to help. Sharing is caring. Hashtag sharing is caring. Anyway, if you have not joined the fan bam, don't forget to join the fan bam. Make sure you turn your notifications on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all your love and support and please share the video. Please like the video. It does wonders for my channel and then you don't hoard me to yourself. Others get to enjoy as well. Okay. So you guys have an awesome blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.